the journey of Dr. Emma Rajgopal into a new field of palliative care, then not known to and not heard by many, began with the few incidents he encountered in his life. Another dimension came to his newfound philosophy when he treated a professor who had cancer. He gave nerve block to cure the pain and sent him home telling he might not come back. The professor should have found out that his disease is incurable and so committed suicide that day. This strikes another wisdom in Dr. M. R. Raj Gopal and he began viewing outside of pain into the person as a whole. It all started in 1993 when the doctor started the Pain and Palliative Care Society. In one short year, the society developed a full-fledged home visit program with trained doctors making their way to bedridden patients, often in far-flung rural areas and sometimes in neighborhoods and their own cities. It takes care of not just disease, but pain, person and his family, sometimes providing food and education as needed. In 2003, driven by the dream to provide all Indians access to palliative care, Palliam India was formed. Another milestone was added when his prophecy attracted nationwide audience and an amendment was made to the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act, making pain relief medicine more accessible to those suffering from chronic pain. The amendment provided a huge boost to the palliative care movement in India. <laughs> Padmashri Honor in 2018 and entitled of several other achievements, he invests his time in being part of several journals in efforts to propagate the ideas of palliative care. His visions must find its way, for it's a boon to the medical care as he proved himself to be.